What's going on everybody? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Crash Bandicoot 2. And if my efforts ended up working out, then you guys will actually have seen this part <laughs> and it didn't get cut out with the rest of the bullshit. So, we'll see what happens, man. I, I figured a, a way that I could get around this is instead of just adding a little extra time, I added an, a full minute of dead space, essentially. <laughs> Not the video game, even though dead space is awesome. But I figured there's no way that this thing is going to cut out an entire minute's worth of footage in the beginning of this, so hopefully it doesn't. If it did, I'm going to be really fucking pissed off. So today, we get to go ride on a bear today, a tiny one that can run extremely fast despite the fact that he's carrying a lot of weight on his back, but hey, what do you do? Dude, getting, <coughs> getting all the boxes in this level are such a pain in the ass. Like, once you slide on these little slots in the ice here, it's so hard to control yourself. And be able to... Oh, this is the one that gets me. But, yeah! I finally got it for once! I never get that damn box! It, it kills me! And that's like one of the only other slots where you have to really be careful on that. And now there's the whole, the whole matter of alternating whale geyser. You go, Tony! No, you go, Steve! No, you go, Tony! Whoa! Okay, we're good. This is actually a really short level, if I remember correctly. It's just a... God, how are they synchronizing this so well? Oh, boy. Oh, God. So, oh, boy. So, a little uh, little tiny update on what's going on with this whole uh, this whole capture device thing. I, I, don't, I still don't know why it's doing what it's doing. Uh, so, after I got done filming the last episode, come on, baby, come on. Oh, no! We missed a box! No, it was right there at the end! Oh, oh no! Oh, you've got to be pulling my scrot. I got a better idea. I want that gem, damn it. I wonder how many people have willingly killed themselves right there because they didn't get a box. I feel like i got to be one of the only ones. <laughs> hey, I beat the level! Fuck that, I'm doing it over! So, after I got done filming the last episode of this, I immediately decided to send off a detailed email to Hapog, which is the people that make this thing. Come on! Yeah! There we go. Um, and I, I kind of explained to them what's going on, because they're usually really prompt about answering me about things. And so I sent them an email, I was like, look guys, this is, this is what's going on. Like, every time I'm filming stuff, for whatever reason, it's like... It's cutting out, like, you know, weird variable amounts of time off of my videos, and I don't know why it's doing that. And uh, I even, like, supplied him a picture, like, from my capture software, showing them, like, this is how long the video says that it is, and this is how long it actually is. And so I sent him that, I sent him off that whole thing, and I figured, you know, they'll answer me when they can, and then everything will be fine. But I still haven't heard from him yet, and that was a couple days ago, so I'm just going to be patient about it. I'm not going to get all fucking crazy. If I don't hear from him in a couple of days, maybe I'll actually give them a call, and we'll see what's going on. Because I really, like, I feel like, like, all I really want to do is I just want to give you guys, like, the best stuff that I can. And I feel like if this is going to continue happening, like, I can't, it's really preventing me from doing that, and I hate it. Like, I hate not being able to do things the best way possible, and so, I mean, I've, I've kind of found, like, a little bummy way to do it, but, you know, I really want to just have something that works smoothly that I don't have to sit here and stress about all the time. Oh, no! I know which one this is! Oh, God. Oh, no. It's not just because it's one of these. <laughs> There's something else that goes along with this that really stresses me out. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I, I knew the first encounter of that's the, the easy part. But it's these things. Oh, God. There's going to be parts later on where we've got to slide under these things while we're still running away from it. It, it turns into just the worst hassle in the world. <laughs> but we'll be okay. Wait a minute, what's back over here? Why do I not... Oh, okay, no, I, I know what this is. There's a couple extra boxes up here. Everything's all cool. So, I found out about this really cool game. It's a little, this little mobile game. Oh, God, I hate these. By the way, imagine how like how much like lower like leg strength that Crash had to have in order to pull that off. Like, he slid and was able to recover from sliding quickly enough and have enough strength to essentially propel himself over that huge ass gap with j using just his legs like he just went straight down 
just like threw all of his leg strength into that to make him jump over that. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> like, you don't find a lot of athletes that can pull that little little move off there. But hey, I mean, for a man that's wearing just some uh, tattered jean shorts with giant shoes and no shirt, I think he's yeah, he's doing pretty good. But I found out about this this uh, little game on uh, on my iPhone. Uh, it was yesterday, actually, and it's so addicting. Holy shit! Like the sim this uh, the uh, simplicity of it is actually that thing. That's actually probably the best part of it. The game is called uh, it's called Zigzag, and uh, the premise of the game it, uh, you can kind of already see where this is going. But you control a little marble, and uh, what you do is the the marble kind of travels. Oh boy. Yeah, the, the marble travels along just a little track, and, like, it will constantly, you know, zigzag, essentially. And so, what you have to do is, in order to have... And you just need to have your marble go as far as you can make it go without falling off the sides. And so, um, when you want it to change direction, all you have to do is tap the screen. <laughs> God, that'd be such a terrible, like, really creepy thing right there. <laughs> Like, is it, you just go and you, you step on that thing, and all of a sudden the floor just gives out, and you're like, oh, shit! And you just land, and you're like, oh, okay, never mind. It's, it's a bonus stage. It's all it's all good. <laughs> I don't feel like that's how Crash would feel about that. He'd be, like, having a goddamn heart attack over that. Here we go. Oh, oh no, no, no. Here we go. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for, for it the wrong way here. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Um... But yeah, so it's 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 really cool though. Like it's the graphics are really they're really simple. Like it's just like a little little itty bitty uh, like eight bit looking game. And like you uh, you pick up these little diamonds while you're going at it, and uh, you can use the diamonds to uh, to get like some different colored little marbles. And so it kind of gives a little bit of replay value. But it's so addicting though, because like it's so easy to mess up and have like little quick deaths. And, uh, and whatever, and like it's the the tracks change every time, so it, you, you never play on the exact same board twice, and that's part of what makes it really fun, because you know, and there's also like the achievement system that uh, that like the the iPhone Game Center has, but it's really fun though. I don't know, like I ended up I ended up playing probably since uh, since yesterday. I've played like probably like 95 games. I think I have like a top score of like 278 or something, which isn't. Great. It's not horrible, but it's not great. But it's really fun, man. Like I love really simplistic games like that where I don't have to sit there and devote a lot of time to it. Like if I'm if I'm just you know waiting for something real quick and I want to have a game that I can play for like maybe a minute and a half or two, or have one of those games that you can uh, you know when you're sitting there taking a dump <laughs> that you don't want to. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! I hit the wrong button. <laughs> man, that's gonna be hard because it jumps over that one. Holy shit! Okay. We're gonna we're gonna have to really we're gonna have to really be careful with that one. It would have really helped if I would have hit the right button going into that. Oh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it. This is the thing that bothers me with this fucking thing here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Come on! Oh I missed it anyways! <laughs> Damn it! Oh man, I really need to hit those uh, those little acceleration pads on the floor. That's that's really what makes all the difference here. There's one. Come on, baby. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh god, it's so nerve wracking. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm running for it. Ah, um, yeah, dude, it's it's fun though. So like, if you if you guys haven't played it before, definitely give it a try, man. It's it's a fun little thing. You'll end up playing like 30 games in a row. I promise. <laughs> But if you're into that kind of thing, man, you're in for a treat. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna have just barely enough time. Come on! Come on! Come on, baby! Come on! Oh no! I was so close! Oh man, that is hard. That is really hard to get those. You really have to be so so quick with with that, and it's all predicated off of just. Getting that first box you oh, damn it. <laughs> that you have to slam your body into. Ugh. By the way, on a totally separate note, I had one of nature's absolute immediately awesome treasures last night for dinner. I went and had a uh, had dinner over at my girlfriend's house last night, and uh, she made this jalapeno popper dip. 
that you have that you eat with like Ritz crackers and holy fucking shit dude that was the spot oh no oh man they require so much precision for that it's just insane I can't take it but dude it was so good oh my god there there are few things on this planet that are better than uh, than having girlfriends that are awesome cooks and she is man god I did it again Ugh. I'm getting so I'm getting so worried about you know the part that's up there. <laughs> I'm turning into like a like a wide receiver in a football that's getting worried about the steps after the catch rather than just the catch. Okay, here we go. We got a really really good lead on this thing right now. We're gonna have some time. We're actually gonna have a lot of time. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. You gotta get it, man. You gotta have some conviction in there. Why did the thing slow down so much? I don't feel like I did a whole lot different right there. But apparently I did, because we had an extremely big lead on that thing. It was all good. But yeah, man, dude, she she makes some some stuff. And she's Greek, and so there's Greek food that happens, and Greek food is the balls. So, yeah, man, find yourself a girlfriend. Or, if you know, you're a woman, find yourself a boyfriend that can cook. Because that... It's important, man. Food is an important thing. That's that's a major bonding point. <laughs> Where's that bonding strip? It's a major bonding point for life. Alright, my friends. Well, you know what? I think we're going to call it good right here for now. Uh, just because I really want to have a full episode dedicated to this guy. Because <laughs> I'm probably going to die a couple times in there. And I love it. Oh, I love that level so much. But you know, I guess it did take about 12 minutes. So I think we're going to be good. Not to mention that I really, really have to take a dump right now. <laughs> That's at least like half the reason. Like part of it was obviously I did wanna I did wanna have this one as part of just like the way we start the next episode with, but I really have to uh, go drop off the uh, or uh, what the hell is it? Let's see, there's drop the kids off at the pool, blah, blah, blah. But there's, oh, take the Browns to the Super Bowl. That's that's the one I was thinking of. It's not the most creative thing in the world, but it could be worse. <laughs> Even Crash is, like, looking at me like, really, dude? Really? That's the best you got, huh? <laughs> yeah, kind of. All right, guys, so when we come back next time, we're going to check out the eel deal, and then we'll have ourselves a nice little, uh, a nice little boss fight to deal with. So until then, my friends, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully I will have heard from Hapog, and we'll have the whole thing fixed up by next episode, but we'll, uh, we'll just have to see. So thanks for being patient, guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.